just a, her W. Oh, hey, Rashad. Yo, what up? What up? What up? I've been getting a couple messages about this today. Uh, a lot has happened with, with the coaching carousel, everything like that. I haven't recorded in a little while. It took me a little while to record this tonight because it's just kind of a lot going on at the moment. Um, <laughs> but I, I definitely had to at least show my face and, and uh, bring up and bring people up to speed who might not have heard the coaching carousel that was what, what uh, March 23rd, 2022. So here we go. We are going to start with uh, everybody knows kind of what happened this morning. Hold on. Hold on. We're not going to start there. Give me a second. Give me a second. We're going to exit out and we're going to um, still set up. We still have some setting up to do. But it all started this morning, crack of dawn. I mean, I believe they announced this at like 7 a.m. And so it's like I woke up to uh, shout out my boy McClain, uh, my boy McClain. And uh, uh, shout out my oh, hold on, hold on. I'll, I'll pull it up like this. My boy McClain. There we go. My boy McClain Baxley of the Athens Banner Herald. I believe it's just an online Athens now. And uh, he tweeted, good morning. Johnny Taylor has is now the coach at texas a&m and i was like what <laughs> like i was like huh like why, why did she do that so that happened and that was kind of like the uh domino effect of uh, everything else that happened because then you're like what else and then uh b terrell says according to sources many people believe that the next coach at uga is going to be coach yo at Ole miss and you think about it coach yo has turned a team that went winless to a team that is a very uh, higher seed and competitive uh, NCAA tournament team in the span of about what, how many years has it been? About three, four years over there in Oxford, Mississippi with Shakira Austin in the middle. But now that Shakira is going, you kind of think, and they lost in the first, or they made it all the way to the tournament. You're kind of thinking like, all right, they went from winless nobodies to NCAA tournament appearance and higher seed in the NCAA tournament. Shakira Austin, her generational talent, her top five talent, uh, her top 10 talent in the WNBA draft is gone. Is this the time to take a chance to take that leap over to UGA a couple states over? I don't know. And you're thinking about it and Coach O steps on it. And uh, she says, oh, wait, hold on, hold on. Where we go? <laughs> hold on, where are we at? Where are we at? Where are we at? Because uh, she tweeted a lot, but I want to go back to like the jump because she said something about a, she she was like a she said y'all funny or something like that. So I want to go to that one. Man, Bob, when I tell you she tweeted about this, she tweeted about this for real, for real. But uh, here we go. By the way, the memes were hilarious. Everybody was telling the jokes about, you know, she was talking about the transfer portal the other day, Coach Show. And now they're saying coach shows in the transfer portal. The coaches are in the transfer portal. She said, y'all something else. And uh, here we go. Here's the thing. I truly believe in what we built here at Ole Miss. Keith, uh, the, the AD over there at Ole Miss, and Jen are committed to our program. Our visions are aligned. And to me, that's important. If you look at my track record, we have been able to show consistent success over a period of time. Excuse me. The SIP is the move, and I like to continue to stabilize our program. So renew your season tickets, sit tight, and let my staff and I continue to work. Hashtag no ceilings. So she tweeted that, and she was like, no, I'm not going to UGA. So the following report was if Coach Yo goes to UGA, Ole Miss is going to be contacting Mr. Mika Reed of Jackson State to be their next coach. And uh, here's the tweet from B. Terrell. And so B. Terrell didn't do the Coach Yo one, by the way. Who, so who was the Coach Yo one? uh let me see let me see uga let me see if i can find the original person who tweeted it uh let me see i do not i do not see it i do not see it okay well here here's a uga reporter saying it himself uga was interested uh contact about the open spot in athens coach Yo is staying put but anyways with the next one it was tamika reed going to Ole Miss and people are like oh snap is Tamika Reed really going to leave Jackson State after uh, Kim Mulkey was like you're not going to be at Jackson State for long because you're going to get a lot of money and you can coach this game and you're way better than Jackson State and Tamika Reed was like hold on now that ain't what the culture is about 
uh, you know, this is an HBCU and this is deeper than money because some things are just bigger than money. And once you realize that, this is a life lesson, everybody. Once you realize that some things in life are just bigger than money, you'll enjoy life so much more because money is not the sole answer. It could be part of an answer of joy and, and, uh, and just a happier lifestyle, easier, uh, kind of less anxious lifestyle because hey, if you don't have money, you don't know where you're going to eat. You don't know when your lights are going to cut on and cut off. You don't know when you're going to have heat. You don't know when you're going to have air. I mean, those are pretty big things. You don't know when you're going to have water or clean clothes or anything. Those are pretty big deals when, when you don't have them. So, um, well, money doesn't buy you happiness. It definitely brings you some sort level of comfort uh, that you would have opposed to the latter. Anyways, Money isn't everything. Tamika Reed's purpose at the HBCU at Jackson State is something that's much larger. And you see Jackson Public School shining her out right now. If she's a Jackson girl uh, that, that went to Murrah State, you know what I'm saying, and, uh, and, and coached at these other schools all in Mississippi, spent pretty much her entire career at Mississippi with uh, outside of, as you see right here, Georgia Southwestern State University, uh, I think that she's kind of staying put at Jackson State. Ole Miss would have been an interesting kind of move for her just because it's still in state. So it's like, ah, I think they had a chance. Maybe, maybe, but she seems like she's very dedicated to building and continuing to put on for the culture, as she said in her post-game interview, which is, you know, Black people and HBCUs. So if just in case you were wondering. But that's what happened today. A lot of people are asking, what now happens to Miss Janiah Barker, the number three senior in the country who is committed to Georgia. Well, let's look her up and see if she has said anything or if we have any tips. But once your coach leaves, uh, you you know things kind of open up. So she wiped her Instagram. So that's what she's done. Uh, but yeah, yeah. If Georgia could hire Coach Young, it could uh, bode well. Oh, okay. Janiah Barker, she had Ole Miss as one of her top five schools but yes she's removed all of her uga related stuff on her instagram all the stuff on her instagram is gone so someone's saying go to texas a&m or go to another school it's got 439 votes salute to coach grant man for getting that type of engagement anyways let me go to the uh to the instagram that they're talking about Instagram, dun, 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 dun. Instagram, you guys can follow me if you feel like it. You guys don't have to. It's Jeff3006, J E F F, the letter, the number 3006. Anyways, here we go. Uh, yeah, it's all gone, man. It is, it's all gone. You just see high school, chilling pics. And then, like they said, the only one is the McDonald's. But it's this uh, just, I guess, um, announcement of her making the McDonald's game. The only thing you see of her and uh, something Georgia. But yeah, salute to the homies, man. I see a lot of the young homies here. Uh, Anaya Patterson, or Ayana Patterson, excuse me. Uh, the homie here from South Carolina, the youngin. Uh, you know, it's it's a lot of homies in, in here, a lot of the, the next and everything that I've been keeping track of the last couple of years. But let me see if we see anything on her thing. My fave. Oh, just a, her W's. Oh! Uh-oh. 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 Wait, hold on. Uh oh, she she done put. Oh, it's over with. Sarah Sarah Ashley Lee, she done and then she done reposted that she put her name in the transfer portal. She gone. Janiah Barker is gone. You can kiss her goodbye. She just gave you the hints right there. Beautiful as always. Best wishes, Coach. Okay, this is something they're saying. Best wishes to you, Coach. A beautiful as always. That's funny, but yeah. Okay, all right. 
So that's that. Hmm. 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 I don't know, man. I think she's gone, bro. <laughs> she might wait until they hire somebody else and then make her decision, but I think she might be gone, bro. Salute to Fly J, the homie. If you know, you know. Salute to Kiki Rice. Salute all the young homies, man, doing it big, man. Salute to Jada Lewis. Salute to uh, Jada Williams as well. Salute to all the young homies. But yeah, that's what's going on. That's what happened today. That's just a quick little synopsis. While we're on here, why don't I bring up my bracket? Uh, yeah, let's bring up my bracket to see how my bracket's doing. And then I'll get out of your hair. Here's my bracket, uh, 87%. Like it was in the 90s and then it went down and then it went down and then it went down. Blah, 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 blah. Pick Derrick's owner to be UNC. I was wrong. Obviously got Stanford, Maryland, right? It's trash that that's a Sweet 16 game that someone mentioned on Twitter. Uh, both of these teams I got wrong. Iowa State and Creighton. So that hit me. Ohio State, Texas, I got right. Uh, NC State in Notre Dame, we got that right. And I got half of these right at the bottom. So I didn't have South Dakota uh, State or South Dakota. I didn't have them in. And I didn't have uh, Indiana making it this far, even though that would have been a safe pick. So uh, that is what I have. I hope you all have enjoyed this. If you're looking for me to tell you I told you so with Jackson State, I will not tell you I told you so with Jackson State because Jackson State did not finish the deal. It did not win. I wanted to make a video then, uh, but it, it just it just didn't, didn't things didn't pan out that way. But I hope you all take care of yourselves and uh, be safe.